What up, Boxing World 12 Rounds TV? Keith, one time Thurman, picked Sean Porter to win against Adrian Broder. I'm sure a lot of people wanted Sean Porter to win, and Porter did not disappoint us. He won. A lot of fans, some YouTubers, picked Porter to lose and Broner to win only because of the catch weight and the rehydration clause. As we all know, the catch weight was one was uh, at 144 and the rehydration clause supposed to be at 154, no more than 10 pounds from the catch weight. But that was eradicated. That was gone. You know. Sean Porter came at 161 and uh, Adrian Broner came at 157. Now, I'm going to read you guys some of the quote that was said here by Keith Wantan Thurman, who is, by the way, he's a dangerous guy. Just want him to tone it down a bit so he could actually entice people to fight him, you know what I mean? I mean, it's good TV, just like Adrian Broner's good TV. He's not as worse as Adrian Broner, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that Keith Wantan Thurman could be vocal, he could be, you know, Presumed as a cocky dude, but all in all, I think Keith one time tournament is just confident. You know, he's undefeated fighter. He's, he's you know, but I think he's all right. That's all right. Yeah, I'd like to see more of him though. I like for him to 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 fight some big guys because if you guys know, I think um, Keith one time tournament can actually could potentially do good moving up in weight. I think so. I mean, he's a big dude. I think he could be, you know, he could, he could be middleweight. I think so. If he is, if Keith One Time Tournament is doing so great at 147, but is not getting the fights that he wants, like Amir Khan, or even though I, I think Keith One Time Tournament will destroy Amir Khan, or Mayweather, you know, he calls out his people, he, call, he, he calls them cherry pickers and all this stuff, but he's not getting the fight. If he's not getting the fight that he wants at 147, I suggest he moves up. You know, test the waters, right? But anyway, Keith one time Turbin said, I favor Porter in this fight. He said, uh, I think he's going to bring it. Bring a high intensity and possibly outwork Broner for the victory. That was what happened. Thurman said that Broner will have a sharp defense to counter Porter's high intensity. And he thinks it'll go to distance. And indeed, it did go to distance. Broner did have somewhat of a decent defense against Porter yesterday. Because we can't say that he didn't. Because had he not have a decent defense, then he would have got knocked out or knocked down. With all those big shots and big bombs that Porter was throwing. I believe that Porter did an outstanding job going to the body when he couldn't get a boner on the top. Excellent. Notable um, rounds, I believe, for Porter when he was throwing those big bombs were about at third and fourth round. He missed, then he went to the body. No biggie. At least Porter was not stagnant. You know, he was not stagnant. He was... He was letting his hands go. He, he, he was doing good. He was doing a good job. And, you know, I applaud him for that. And, um, like I said, I didn't like that knockdown. And I said it over and over. I didn't like that knockdown. But he let his heart, he, he let his guard down and, you know, slip. But clearly, Porter can take Broner's shot, you know. He got up from there and he was like, oh, I'm, I'm all right. I'm good. I'm nothing. That's what he, you know, he... He said to Tony Weeks, the referee, he said, I'm okay, I'm good, you know what I mean? All right. He actually looked surprised. He goes, what the heck? Did I just get knocked down? You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Keith one time Thurman said that he picked Sean Porter to win and Adrian Broner to lose, but he was going to go the distance, and indeed he was right. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>